Hello guys, I'm back on the server. How you doing? You looking good there. Welcome, welcome. I'm adjusting my video settings, so hopefully this turns out okay. Otherwise, I scrapped the whole thing. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some stuff that's on my mind. Um, I've already started a little section out over here. Um, if you watch my own personal channel, I did a little bit of this, talked about YouTubing and the frustrations of YouTubing. The idea here is, is I want to have another room, but I don't want to have just a normal room where I just kind of do the same old thing over and over again. Really, the idea here is, is um, this is going to be a sheep area, but it's it's going to be capitalizing on the space that I already have. And so I have a bunch of space in here, but I want to use underneath here. So I'm trying to just capitalize on basically the the whole setup, um, which I do plan to go this way and that way and that way and that way. Um, so we're just going to have a multi-level area, but for now I'm just kind of doing this. So I want to dig out some of this, but talk to you guys about some stuff. So I always have some kind of conversation with you guys about things that are on my mind. Um, always seems to be something on my mind. And right now I feel like with social media, with, uh, with just people trying to connect online and then having their own personal thoughts that we like to make snap decisions. We love to instantly try to quantify someone as soon as possible. Um, an example of that. So I work with a lot of people that um, have um, cognitive delay. And the idea behind this is, is that they are they struggle with just simply being able to keep a job, um, do the normal functions in life, the people that have autism, people that have Down syndrome, those type of setups. Is this too high? What's going on here? Oh, it's just the floor. I am gonna put a floor or a ceiling on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dig this out um, and we'll kinda address it in a little bit. I was just afraid that I was seeing something I shouldn't. Let me check this out real quick, just to make sure it's all kosher. Yeah. So then there should be ground right here. So I'll just dig all this out and see what I can do with it. Um, so I work with a lot of people that um, get labeled really quickly. And people, let's be honest, people love, love, love to quantify someone. As soon as they can get a label on you, then they they feel comfortable with themselves and they are able to just kind of move on with their life, but not until they're able to do that. And obviously in scripture, we see that's where we need to have, I mean, look at the situation with Moses. Moses is talking to God at the burning bush and he's like, who, who are you? Who do I tell them? Like, give me a name so that I can quantify exactly who you are. And in, in scripture time, a name was extremely important and would define that person. Um, and so we could say, hey, is God Father? Um, is God Lord? And that has a context to it. It has a meaning and we can just put you in my little box and everything's good with that. And there's a huge spiritual implication with something like that. I think though that people in life on social media, on blogging, love to do this as well. And it's concerning because the reality of the matter is that we are more than just that. And so if I were to tweet out something that says, oh, I'm, I'm super frustrated about something, we want to instantly quantify that person. We want it to instantly be able to say, that's who you are and that's what it means. And the truth of the matter is, is 140 characters. How in the world do you quantify someone in 140 characters? Especially if you don't understand their tone, you don't understand the body language that's behind that. It's just the words. And you don't communicate with just words. You communicate so much more than just that. The reason I love video, the reason I love audio is because... Oh, sorry. I just freaked out. I heard a hiss because over here... Let me show you something. So up here, I was uh, trying to get some XP because my XP is low because I died from a super high fall. 
and I was over here just trying to get some XP, feeding the stuff, and a, um, a creeper comes up behind me. And the problem with that is, is oh, it's not here, but there was haste, and he had haste on him. And so he just came up behind me and instantly blew up. So that hiss kind of sets me off. So there is a ton more cows in here than should be because they all escaped from here. It's super frustrating, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, the idea of quantifying someone just by a single tweet feels ludicrous. It feels like, what? how in the world can you justify saying that that is exactly who that person is? And yet we instantly want to say, you're a terrible dad because of something like this, or um, you don't understand what it means to be a Christian just because of this one single tweet. Um, and this can be difficult for me to say this because I have my own faith perspectives and you might have your own different one. It's not me being wishy-washy, it's me being respectful in this process. And there are people online that I disagree with their theological understanding, but it's a tweet, it's a single post. Even if it was a Facebook post, a Google Plus post, or um, a YouTube video blog post where you actually get more than 140 characters and try to communicate something. Maybe it's a whole timeline of stuff that we can go back and look at the person, really try to understand who they are. It's really hard to quantify them as that person. Let's be honest, I, I'm in a marriage that I'm still learning more and more about my wife. I'm still learning more and more about myself. I wouldn't even be able to quantify myself because I'm still learning about who I am. And I think that the difficult part in this process is, is that we want to be able to just put you in your little box. And so when we see something that we disagree with, we instantly write them off. We instantly decide, you know what, I'm going to block them, I'm going to mute them, um, because they are completely against who we are. And that for me is a struggle. And I, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say with this, um, because this is a kind of an... Uh, can be a toxic topic if it's just my opinion and you guys just hear what I have to say and I don't think that that's appropriate. Why is this center but looks like there's almost looks like I have an extra whole layer to bring out here. I think I'm gonna have to lower this floor because this is too low and I'll put half slabs here but man it's too set in the ground. I wasn't actually anticipating having that kind of a basement. So I'm going to have to take out this whole wall, lower this floor a little bit. I'll start construction on the floor right now. Um, so we try to quantify people. And this obviously has huge repercussions because now all of a sudden we get fixated on that one piece of the puzzle and we can't look past it. And we make our snap judgments. We make our instant implications of the person um, doesn't justify the comment maybe made the, because people say terrible things online all the time um, but it does create an atmosphere that is very toxic um, so people say racist stuff all the time online welcome to the internet um, and it's not a good thing it, the internet really needs to change its ways on this um, free speech or not, hate is hate, and I personally do not endorse it. But at the same time, sometimes we make a terrible decision. Um, if you guys have visited Church Mag, we talked a lot about social media fails. And one of them was about a woman who had sent out a tweet, whenever, a joke that she thought was funny when she was going to Africa. A terrible comment, a terrible joke. And even in the context of friends, probably should not have been made. In fact, I would have not made that kind of a comment. Um, and I'm not going to repeat it, so I'm not even going to tell you where you can find it, just because it's obscene enough that it's not worth it. But to be able to quantify her as she's a racist because of that single comment um, goes beyond. Was that comment in and of itself absolutely racist? Yes. Um, but we... But we are more than just our words. We are more than just a single act that was completely inappropriate. Um, and there's a lot of implications with something like this because we are always learning and we are always growing. Um, I know myself, I would say that at one point I was 
the biggest Baptist in the world. Um, you couldn't get anything by me as far as my Baptist beliefs. And since then, I've changed a lot of those initial thinkings. Um, doesn't mean I don't agree, disagree with everything that's being said, but there's a lot that I've changed in how I approach things. Yeah, we're good. Um, I'm collecting all this coal because hopefully I can get some levels out of this. And it also makes for great trading. Sometimes my trades lock up and this is a typical one that can unlock the trade. So I'm trying to get as much of this as I can. See, there's that haste. That haste kicks in. So the creeper must have come from over here. Which means this place is not lit up well enough. Maybe it's right here. Just in case. I think I'm going to just spam this as much as possible. I really love these ice blocks, but I hate the fact that the lighting is so precarious. So as soon as we find an ice world, and I hope we find one soon, because we've scanned the entire world significantly, as soon as we find one, I'm stealing it. But I also saw, I think it's Josh, has a tower build over there that has compact ice and I don't know where he got it from so I'll have to check that out. One of the things I didn't tell you guys um, but if you watch my video I talk about is, is I want to try to make this into a slime block launcher. I wonder if this is going to be too low. I think that's still good. I think I can still get up there um, but we'll see. So quantifying people don't do it. Um, think about your reaction and it's not just an impulse thing. There's a huge problem with people just making a snap decision on social media and wanting to react viscerally to something. And I don't think that's appropriate either, but that's not really what we're talking about with this. Uh, this is a, I've completely defined who you are. And so now I get to just have that opinion of you. And the problem with that is, is we change, um, we misunderstand and misinterpret. Um, we we don't understand the whole story, even though it's been said to us. We don't get what the person's trying to be trying to convey to us. Um, if you're like me, you miscommunicate all the time. You say half the stuff in your head, and you don't say the other half of the stuff out loud. My wife it, is a an angel in this because, oops, she is able to read my mind somehow, and so I can say half the stuff out loud and the other half of the stuff I don't say aloud, and she's able to recognize that I haven't communicated everything I'm supposed to to her. So be careful with what you do. Don't just hold those grudges. Obviously, if it becomes a pattern, that makes sense to reframe. Oh, geez. Don't melt. How far back can I go? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool. I think that this isn't good enough lighting. Um, so be careful, guys. Um, be smart about things. Know what you're getting into. Hmm. I need to move that a little bit. Expand that out. Take out this <laughs> whole wall, two blocks deep at least. So I got a little bit ahead of me. Um, I'm going to keep going on this. Um, I tried to just kind of get a good recording in while I'm here and it's not blowing things up. Um, I do have a couple other projects I got to get out of the way real quick as well. Um, I'm going to hopefully try to get some more projects with the other members of the team because that'll be fun to kind of just get some collaboration stuff with them. Um, the hardest part though is that it's always time sensitive because we're all across the US and Chris and Eric are in a completely other country. And so finding 30 minutes to actually have these kind of conversations is not easy. So we'll work on it. We'll try to get things figured out. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on this topic of trying to have a great conversation with someone and not put them in a box. How do you do it? How do you make sure that you are seeing the whole person for who they are and not trying to just 
I guess stuff them in a box is really kind of the thing I keep coming back to and really kind of in some way devaluing them um, is really maybe how I would forcefully put it so it's a tough conversation um, and when you realize that you're doing it it can feel very worrisome so I don't want people to feel shamed because of this that's not my goal um, but I do want to just start that conversation because I think as Christians we owe it to ourselves our faith um, the God we serve in trying to move beyond that and you can go as controversial into the subject as you want with the Black Lives Matter movement you can go as shallow as you want in this process and just looking at our reactions to people in general and some of the petty stuff that we do but irregardless I think that the conversation needs to happen regardless of how critical how deep you want to get into the conversation so leave me a message tell me what you guys think um, I'd love to hear it I'm gonna finish up yeah um, no I did not want to do that I'm gonna finish up down here um, and then on my personal channel I'm gonna actually start to get the sheep farm going and hopefully I got a special idea going for it that I want to try to see if I can accomplish make it AFKable and you think AFKable for sheep farm it's been done but this will be a little bit different this will be low lag on the server is what I'm gonna shoot for so leave me a, uh, leave me a comment down below guys tell me what you guys think have you had this discussion have you seen this have you seen this done well have you seen this done completely wrong and I will talk to you guys next time see you later bye bye whoa Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.